Now create the new model, model number three, and in new model, import shell number two, S85. Now we want to make this all individual parts. Because see, a three parts were imported. One of them is the vertical member, one is diagonal member, and one is the long top and bottom part. We are going now to assign the section and assign the material and section and mesh to each part. First, create the material as in the previous analysis. Create a section, so shell homogeneous section. Assign the section to the first part. Remember to assign it to the top surface. Second part. And third part. Now we are going to build our mesh our uh, truss from all those elements. But first we are going to mesh each part separately inside here. Okay, now go to assembly and assemble all three instances. You see, we have assembled all of them, all three of them, but we need more of them. But since they are repetitive, we are going to create in the assembly module a linear patterns. So first, we are going to create the top chord. See, linear patterns asks us about the direction in which we are going to create. So we are going to create 400 centimeters offset in the direction vertical, that is the second one, and only two items, two because the first one and the second one. Yes, and now we are going to make a pattern of members, vertical and diagonal members. First, we are going to the linear pattern of this member. Okay. And now up until the end. Okay. Now we need to mirror this element here. So first, create a pattern, move it by one. Now, rotate this instance axis of rotation. and angle like for 180 degrees, confirm with yes, and now translate the instance into the position here. Confirm with okay. Now we can make a pattern of those two at the same time. Confirm with done. The pattern will be every four meter. Okay, now we've got all our truss assembled, you can see it clearly, but each part is separate from the other. If you enter the mesh module now, you can see that mesh is not coinciding, which means that we need to tie the meshes to each others. I will only make you show you how to do one tie because it's a lot of work but all the others are supposed to be done accordingly. So the tie 
should be done in the constraint module here when you double click constraint you've got a tie you click continue and then you should choose surface or an old region but to do it we have to first prepare them so go back to the part go back to the surface and select create a new surface from geometry select that create an over surface from geometry you see we've got two surfaces now now we are going back to the constraint tie continue now surface select surfaces we select the one surface that we have created you can type on highlight then you could see each part has this surface one created if you go through them you can see which one we are now accessing easily Let's say that we are going to access this one. And now we are going to tie it to a slave. Select surface. Now we are going to choose the top cord, done. And tie it to the brown part. Okay. Now you see when you go into constraint that we have one part tied to the other and this should be done for all the parts for this model to work in that way 